So today Rusty calls and he asks me to come to band practice because he's got some news. Now he doesn't ever usually ask me to come to band practice, so I've got a sneaking suspicion something's going down. What's up, man? Hey. What's going on? Well, um, no problem. Okay. Uh, I just got an email, which is awesome, uh, for now, for the band. Okay. Um, we've been asked to play the, this music festival uh, off, in, uh, off the beach down in uh, Gulfport. Really? It's great. Okay. Playing with Room 5, um, Ender, Rim, uh, Gym Class Heroes, um, Vanilla Ice. Okay, so it doesn't sound like oh. Well, <laughs> uh, it's the 18th, 19th, 20th. Oh, uh, Short-handed, but this is a Dude, that's I, a big deal. I get it, and I hate to be a jerk, but I've got nobody Vanilla else I can ice. send. Vanilla Ice, who was relevant 20 years ago. Vanilla Ice, Rob Van Winkle. Seriously, am I the only one? <laughs> so uh, the band's here. Where I want you to come in and talk to them because they're going to be upset about it too. Um, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to not go on something I've contracted for. But I've been working in this band for ten years, and this is a, the, probably the biggest opportunity that we've ever had. I I know. I get it. Uh, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes, but I got nothing else to take that gig. Seriously, are we having this conversation? Why do I even need to be part of this conversation? This should be pretty cut and dry. Your name is on a contract for a gig. I'm sorry, tough luck, big break. That's how it goes in the business. But you have made a commitment. So what Dave doesn't know is the guys are pissed. You had to stop this. I'm, I'm so important. Yeah. But look, y'all remember Dave? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From DJing. Yeah. So, yeah. here's here's the issue. I mean, I already talked to y'all a little bit about it. I talked to Dave a little bit about it. I don't know what to do with this 19th gig thing. I mean, that's a big deal. And I know. Well, it's easy what to do, man. You want, we're going to play the show. We open it for Maroon 5. I'm saying, here's the problem. I'm already under contract. Yeah, we're we, we under contract, too. We're going to do shit. Let's go. I've already been well, prepaid. Months in advance for a wedding that I have to do. I have to. And he said, "Don't just got the email. You already signed the contract to do the festival." No, it's a. No, it's it's, but it's, it's pretty much a done deal. We, we, we you know, we, all we have like one of those side contracts. It's like y'all, it's like kind of one of my side contracts with floats all day. You know, it's like right. Right. Come, we grab it. Y'all know that I respect y'all as musicians, and I hate to, I hate to be that guy, but you know, this is one of those things where the contract is signed. I'm on my end. It's already done. It's already in the books, and I don't have anybody else to take it. So, already signed, kind of like trumps soon to be signed. Well, it's just like, well, yes, we got, 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 got a problem. Because we, 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 we need to play the show. Yeah, I cannot believe we are having this conversation. All right, we got a, a big opportunity. We got 20,000 people we're going to play in front of. We're going to do the show. And I guess well, I, 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 whether I, you are going to find somebody else to do this or not, you better go subcontract somewhere. Because this is what's going to happen. All right. Who the hell we've, been, we've been 10 years in this band. I don't want to hear no DJ crap. Discussion's over, dude. See you later. We got to practice. We got to practice. It's over with. Yeah. You got to find I, a DJ. Real deal? You, you know you, how to you guys. You need to play the DJ gig. But if I could, I would. There is yeah, no If my had balls, she'd be my uncle. Find another DJ. Really? Look, I understand what's going on with y'all. I understand that y'all have a 10 year commitment. I've been following you guys since day one. And I get it. And I respect you guys as musicians. But I busted my ass for 15 years to put my name out there. And if I need him to do the fucking wedding and his name is on the contract, he's going to do the damn wedding. What? And if you have a problem with that, y'all find well, a way to make this shit it. work. Because I've been it for 30 years. I find your DJ. Y'all find somewhere else. No, you find a DJ. His name is on my contract. 
I hate to be the bearer of bad news, he's mine.